What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. Whoop, whoop. So today, I'm gonna be installing this Mishimoto intake onto this 2016 Ford Focus RS. This is my friend Chris's car. Go ahead and check out his Instagram. I will link that down in the description below. Also, I'll put a link to this intake below. I'll show you how to remove all these stock intake parts, and then I'll show you how to install the new Mishimoto parts. So let's get down to it. We're gonna start tearing this thing apart. Yeah. But first things first, I'm just gonna go ahead and take off this engine cover. So you can just kind of pry up on this. <laughs> pry up on it, just keep pulling. There it goes. Don't want to break anything. There you go. Then we'll be able to access the stock intake system. Remove all the clamps real fast. I really love using a impact driver. If you guys don't have one of these, I definitely recommend to pick one up. I'll put a link down below to that. Take this part off right here. Now we can go ahead and remove this sensor. Just press in on the side, pull up and remove that. Also, it has a nice little clip here, so I'm gonna try to just pull that off. I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut this little zip tie off of this piece right here. So now I'm gonna remove the little rubber piece on the front here. This is for the intake ducting. Move these little pieces. These just kind of come out so we can kind of toss those to the side now. And this one here will also pop out. It'll kind of slide right out of there. I'm just gonna take this off for the time being. Now we can go ahead and try to remove some of the intake piping. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just take this part off, just prying back and pull that out of the way. Make sure those hose clamps don't fall off. So now I can kind of just pry on this little piece right here. It's just kind of held in by this little screw. This little clamp is where it, where it just slides right on. I can go ahead and take this hose off, unplug that piece, and now pull this piece of the piping out. There's also a little clip on the back side, so we're gonna unclip that and put that piece to the side so I don't drop anything in there. I'm just gonna take this piece off just for peace of mind. I'm gonna take the air filter box assembly out. Basically all you have to do is just pull up. These are just in rubber grommets in the bottom. And this top one, you're just gonna kinda slide out of the rubber grommet. It just sorta slides forward just a little bit. It'll pop right off and then we can set that aside because we're not gonna be using that anymore. Around the back side of this pipe right here, you'll notice this little PCV valve. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and just squeeze down on that. When you squeeze on it, that should release it to where you can take it off the pipe. Just squeeze down and press back. Now we got it off there. You can see the little O-ring in there. There's that nice blow by that oil buildup that we always always talk about. It's only something. So now what I'm gonna do is just kind of press this back until I get it off the mounts right there. And what that did, that actually pretty much breaks it off of the turbo inlet down at the bottom. So Depending on how tight your fitting is down there, you may be able to wiggle it off. He's able to just kind of wiggle it off real quick. And now I can kind of maneuver the intake piping out of the way. We still have that fitting down there at the bottom, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. It has a rubber hose on it, but now I have a little bit more access to get down there. Now I'm right down in that area where that little coupler was. What you'll notice too here is a lot of blow by on that. You can see a lot of oil on there oil build up. Now what I'm gonna use is this little guy right here. This is the supplied Mishimoto piece. Um, I'm gonna see about putting a clamp on here and getting that tightened down so we can put that new intake duct on. So let's get this whole dong down in there. It'll slide in like that. However, I gotta put a clamp on it. Taking the Mishimoto intake box here, there's a little supplied angle bracket. You just wanna go ahead and just take the bolt, put it in there, put the lock washer on and the washer on top of that. And what that's gonna do is allow the stock tube here, when we place it in there, to basically be locked down. You'll put that in and then you can put this on and it will lock it down onto this pipe. So after I get it installed in there, we will do that. The other thing you gotta install on the box are these little nipples. So right here on this hole, we will install one of these little nipple pieces. Taking the Allen head screw, the lock washer and washer. Let's go ahead and thread those in there and we'll put those into the bottom of the box. That way this thing will install properly once we get it on the car. Also, you're gonna install this bracket right here. You can kind of see the, the angle that it's at when it's actually in the car. It will be in there like this. So this little spot would basically go into that nub. So you're gonna put one of those aluminum nubs right there. This portion right here, right underneath the air intake inlet spot. So that's just basically gonna flap up like that. We're gonna put a nut and bolt and washer 
on that portion of it. We just gotta put this last little aluminum nip thing on the end right here. So we're just gonna put that on. Got the lock washer, regular washer, and the bolt down there. So we're just gonna temporarily just tighten that up. So now also I'm gonna take this little rubber nipple that was from the stock air box and I'm just gonna slide that onto this piece here. And for now, we'll just kind of place this in here, just setting it down, not gonna lock anything in yet. You know, we'll wait till the end, till we get all the piping situated and then press it on down and tighten up all the bolts. Make sure that you have the worm gear clamp, you know, angled the right direction so that when you get down there, you're gonna have it clocked and accessible. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a quarter inch drive. This is a number seven millimeter and I'm gonna put it down there on the turbo. Now be careful when you're going down here because you don't wanna drop anything into the turbo as that would obviously be bad. Just kinda go ahead and press the pipe down on there. Feel around it, you should be able to feel right down. Go ahead and tighten it all down. You can see that there's a couple spots that are welded on for bungs. So there's this little bracket right here. Went ahead and just put that in hand tight because that's gonna have to adjust a little bit. Also, there is this bracket right here which you will notice when it's installed, we'll have a little bit of adjustability like this back and forth. And that basically just goes on these two right over here, like the car came with, with the stock intake. Take those off real quick and we'll put this on. To get these on here, you actually have to take out a little center piece. That way you can put the rubber in and then press this fitting back in. That way we can put it onto the car like it came on stock. Now also this is the same feature on this little nub right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and disconnect this. This is the one right here, this little nipple is actually to install the engine cover. So same situation with that. Go ahead and remove that, slide it on there like this, insert it, and now you will reinstall it back on the car. Just like this. Screw that back down. You also have to take out this little sensor here. So just go ahead and turn that counterclockwise about 90 degrees, and then you should be able to pull that out. Now looking on the inside also, you should be able to kind of see how it aligns. And from looking on the inside there, you can pull it out and make sure that you're not gonna damage the piece at all. There is an O-ring, so it will retain it a little bit with a little bit of pressure. However, just wiggling it out, we'll get it on out of there. Now you can see this little portion right here, that's where this tab part is gonna locate it. So we're gonna go ahead and just put it back in to this location. And you'll also see that it's kind of ramped up. And it's ramped up in a way that it locks it in. So we put it in, twist it, and as we twist it, we're all good. And now this pipe is ready to be installed. Just kind of routing it down through here and into the hole. Just gonna kind of make sure, you know, I'm not catching anything or putting anything in its way. And we can reconnect the hose in the back there. Now you guys might not be able to see that, However, it was just like how you took it off. I'm gonna reach back there, push until you hear it snap and click on. There it goes. You should hear kind of two clicks. Taking this little nub that we used on the factory air inlet pipe, we can go ahead and just place that into the new bracket and slip the piece down on top. Now, after that, we can go ahead and just put this bolt back in there. Now we can go ahead and take that piece and click it into this part that came with the new Mishimoto piece. After that, using a little bit of force, we're just gonna make sure that we have this all tightened down. Using my little quarter inch drive, I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten down the hose clamp here. I'm just kinda gonna guide the bolts in as close as I can get it and hand thread them in. After that, then we can go ahead and snug down the bracketry. This is basically the reason you don't want to tighten everything down because you'll have a little bit more play in this area and you can risk cross threading if you don't. Now that I got those all on there and tightened down, I can go ahead and just tighten down this piece of this clamp right here just to make sure it's nice and snug. Taking the little factory clip here, you can go ahead and insert that into the back side of the pipe and we can go ahead and just click that down. And that just fits nicely in there, looking like the factory setup. Now that I have all that intake piping in, press in the box. In some of these areas, I have not tightened down the screws, so I'm using my Allen 
Just getting right down in there. Just torquing those down a bit, that way they don't come loose. Go ahead and plug this sensor back in. Right here, what you'll notice is I put this little bracket down in there. Sorry if you guys can't see this super well. I know it is very dim. Um, all you have to do is just place that bracket up, and now we're just gonna clamp it down. And what that's basically doing is just keeping that intake pipe in its place. That way it doesn't fall out. So it's making it a nice, snug little secure fit. Taking that rubberized piece, I'm just gonna go ahead and reinstall that like it came from the factory. Put this piece down in there as well. That way we have the intake track into the front. Now all we have to do is just kind of seal this up. It's kind of a tight fit, but that's the point. Seals it up and now we have a nice good connection into the air box. Go ahead and take the Mishimoto lifetime warranty made in the USA air filter. Stall that real fast. Yeah, this is an eight millimeter socket in case you guys are wondering. All right guys, so pretty much we're buttoning it up now. Got that engine cover as the uh, last portion of this installation. Go ahead and just find those little nipples in there and uh, press down on this thing. Boom, we're all set, intake's on. Let's go give the car a drive around, see how we like the sound of the intake. I'm kind of interested to see how it sounds, see if it has a Coke bottle effect or anything like that. Either gonna make that a second video or not make that a second video. So if you guys see that right now, you'll see that. Not you won't. All right guys, so thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys liked the install. Go ahead and make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram for more updates on stuff like this. Also, follow Chris on Instagram. I'll leave the links down below. And check us out on there, guys. Really appreciate it. Later. Rinch on. impressions of that intake it's freaking loud